Council members will take leaders' questions. Understanding Order 36. Deputy Pierce Doherty, please. Can I get the Jan Corley? Because he is a tan stalker that took a took a in the hall he lies. Because the the hemp yachty are in the service he's flying to take Tarlu. Take Tarlu more yaller. Now daily let and real touch listen to five. Now show I take Cree lawyer and Irish. Because the car him yacht the Gursi Poye. Just now a trainal. Because Kanyla Ebre fear how hard the service he's flying to new Amshre. Because Neil Ian Ebre a Gary Bay a muy erstal. Because Ian Ray Jarna a. Tisha, medical scientists are on the picket lines this morning and again tomorrow, <coughs> fighting for fair pay, fighting for do, uh, decent career uh, opportunities, progression opportunities, and we're seeing significant and widespread disruption to our health service with up to 30,000 medical procedures and appointments being cancelled, and that follows from the 14,000 uh, appointments that were cancelled last week. And this th dispute, Tisha, has been left to fester by successive governments for more than 20 years. The issues at the centre of this strike didn't fall out of the sky. Medical scientists are paid 8% less than other colleagues who perform identical work in hospital labs. Laboratory aides who report to medical scientists are receiving a higher starting salary than the medical scientists. They have fewer education and progression opportunities than comparable colleagues. And these issues have been raised continuously uh, with government for over two decades by medical scientists, by their representatives, and nothing has been done. Unfair pay and failure to address poor conditions has led to a chronic retention and recruitment crisis in the profession. Now we see that 20% of approved hospital posts are currently unfilled, and the MLSA say that the Department of Health and the HSE are ignoring burnout in the sector. So make no mistake about it, Tisha. Medical scientists are in strike today because of a basic lack of respect and recognition of the crucial role that they play in delivery of our health services. They are among the unsung heroes of this pandemic. Medical scientists essentially designed our COVID-19 testing system from scratch. They suspended industrial action for over two years. They put aside their grievances for the good of our people, and their contribution in their fight against the virus was invaluable. Medical scientists stood up and went beyond the call of duty. Now your government has left them standing on the picket line for a second week. Since the first strike action last Wednesday, the Medical Laboratory Scientists Association say that neither the Department of Health nor the HSE has come to them with a meaningful proposal nor an invitation to talks that could resolve the issues. Now, Tisha, that is incredible. Medical scientists deserve far, far better than that. And the tens of thousands of patients who've had their medical appointments cancelled deserve much better. So, Tisha, what we need is a fresh set of urgent talks. We need those urgently aimed at getting a resolution. And these talks must crucially involve the Department of Public Expenditure. That's the department at the end of the day who puts the money on the table. They have to be at the table. Tisha, last week you said that you recognised the huge, important work done by medical scientists. But you also urged them to engage with the industrial relations mechanisms. But that's exactly what they're doing. Yet there still is no resolution to this issue. So it comes down to this, Tisha. Do you accept that medical scientists have a legitimate and fair claim? And if you do, will you now intervene with the Department of Health, the HSE, and crucially the Department of Public Expenditure to together bring a meaningful proposal to the MLSA to resolve this dispute and make sure it doesn't go into a third week? Thank you, Debbie. Tisha, <laughs> Uh, and three is far from the question of the research in the country last year, um, then the process of the own can question the entire um, research because she more harm. Um, the more that we can make substantial tool own, the more we can own the question of the research. Um, so there. First of all, I want to acknowledge, uh, thank the deputy for raising the issue, and I want to acknowledge and pay tribute. 
uh, to the dedication, the professionalism and the commitment of medical scientists throughout the country. Uh, they were instrumental and crucial in respect of our response uh, to COVID-19 and the pandemic and are clearly an integral part of the delivery of care within our health service. Uh, the <coughs> MLSA, the Medical Laboratory Scientists Association, won pay parity uh, between medical scientists and clinical biochemists. Um, it was recommended in an expert group as far back as uh, 2000, 2001. Uh, that was broken by benchmarking uh, at the time, the 2002 benchmarking process uh, between the two grades again. Um, there is clear, a clearly defined grade structure with promotional opportunities, opportunities for medical scientists within the HSC. Um, now, the Building Momentum Public Service uh, Agreement uh, did provide for sectoral bargaining within that overall framework. Um, and in addition to that, um, we, we believe, it, we believe it's, it's, it's particularly important uh, that this gets into a proper process, uh, either in the LRC or, or within the Labour Court. And in our view, and in my view, optimal use must be made of the industrial relations machinery of the state, be it, be it the WRC or the Labour Court. Uh, in respect of getting this issue resolved. There would have been significant informal contact over the weekend. And the issue is about the process of getting uh, all sides uh, into the process, into either the WRC or the Labour Court, uh, to get this resolved uh, within broad industrial relations frameworks. Because uh, in the end of the day, um, government wants a resolution of this. I'm sure MLSA want a resolution of this on behalf of medical laboratory scientific sciences associations. But such a resolution must always be conscious of potential um, implications, relativities, and so on. All of that has to be clearly, transparently done uh, and, and, and signed off in respect of uh, the processes in play. Uh, and the objective really of all of the informal contacts over, over the weekend has been around getting people comfortable about getting into a process um, in, in terms of a proper outcome here um, um, for, for all concerned. Uh, and, you know, the, we're very anxious to get this resolved. Uh, there has been growth overall in the number of medical scientists, about 6% since 2019. But I acknowledge that, you know, there's been a, at the higher level uh, increases at the basic grade, not so. Uh, so we want to improve that. The HSE are embarking on um, a recruitment uh, campaign. Uh, additional funding has been made available in the estimates um, for 2022 to facilitate that. About 160 uh, development posts have been recruited in addition to replacement posts. Uh, so Thank I think the should. resolution of this lies in the full uh, <coughs> utilisation of the labour relations uh, machinery of the state. Thank you. Deputy MacDonald. Uh, <coughs> Medical scientists have been waiting for 20 years for you to turn up and actually deliver. They don't need plaudits, they don't need applause. What they need is a government to step up to the plate, recognise the invaluable work that do, they do in our health service, recognise all of the work that they've done over the last number of years. They've been waiting 20 years for a government to actually hear their legitimate grievances and actually act. They're out on strike today, Tisha, because they've had enough. Now, we can allow this to go into a third week and the disruption that that will have to our health services with three more days of strike next week. So I'm asking you, you say that we need to use the industrial mechanisms. I agree with that. But all parties need to turn up. Deeper needs to be at the table. The people who will pay at the end of the day need to be involved in these talks. So, Tisha, I'm asking you again, will you direct the Department of Health, the HSE and the Department of Expenditure to get round the table with the medical scientists uh, to come up with some sort of resolution? Thank you. Well, first of all, the health sector management have engaged with the MLSA through, through the WRC over the course of 2021 and more recently through the sectoral bargaining process on the building momentum 2021 to 2022. Uh, the uh, public service, the PSAG, recommended that the parties re-engage at the WRC um, and, that, and that, that is where it has been over the last week or so, uh, endeavouring to get back into the, into the process. There was further engagement with the MLSA in relation to that. Um, unfortunately, no resolution uh, was reached um, last week in respect of that, uh, but I'm hoping, uh, and I would urge all parties uh, to use 
either the WRC or potentially the Labour Court uh, to bring about a resolution of this. And the full um, arm of government then would be uh, involved in that process uh, in terms of the full continuum of government through its different departments and agencies would be involved in that process uh, to get an outcome uh, once and for all uh, of this particular issue. Because I think we want to get, we understand the role that the, that the medical scientists play. We understand the impact. Uh, of this disruption you, on patients as well. Very concerned about that. Time is up, uh, so we want to get this resolved. We believe it can be if we can get a proper basis for engagement with the with the WRC or the Labour Court.